Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Nantucket, a new strategy game out which puts you in the 1800s in a whaling ship. You are Ishmael, the uh, sole survivor at the end of the novel Moby Dick, a uh, spoiler alert for a novel that was written over 150 years ago. Uh, in this game, you're taking on the role of Ishmael hunting various whales uh, in your ultimate goal of uh, seeking revenge against the white whale Moby Dick. Uh, today we're going to be doing a short stream looking at the game. Uh, I've already played it a bit, I've got a decent amount of money, I've got a decent crew, and I'm in the process of trying to level up and get a bigger ship so we can start uh, hunting whales that are a little bit more challenging and kind of advancing along the game. Uh, there are still a few modules I need to build out in my ship, and I actually probably will need to switch crew members in order to build the modules that I need to purchase a better boat. But for the meantime, we're going to keep our existing ship, which is, I believe, a rotten sloop, uh, the kind of base entry ship, uh, and we're currently in Honolulu. It is five years into the game. My understanding is the game allows you to play up to uh, 50 years in. And, uh, yeah, so we're five years in, about 10% through the game, if you count that time period. We're in Honolulu right now, uh, and I think what we're going to look at doing is sailing back to the Atlantic, back to the game's namesake town in Nantucket, in Massachusetts. And uh, uh, we have a couple of, we actually have one construction item which is completed there uh, that we're going to, you know, hopefully uh, go ahead and pick up here. We've got a couple of different missions that were in progress as well. Um, you can see here, if we go to our journal, we're in the middle of the Kaliki quest, which has a very strong whale uh, that we have to overcome, so I'm not quite ready for that. We've accomplished the Ohio Destiny and Zekron Destiny, but we need to figure out what happened to the Margaret's Destiny, I think. We need to go back to Peterhead and Nantucket to receive our awards for both of those, so we need to go back to the east anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to take us 115 days. You can see over the last couple of turns, we have uncovered most of the Pacific Ocean as well as up into the Arctic, here in the Pacific. We still have some gray areas or whatnot in the South Pacific, and then sort of, I don't know if this is the Eastern Pacific, technically. Uh, it's been up and around, like, the Galapagos Islands, uh, but we're not going to bother with that at the moment. We're really just going to look at getting back to the Atlantic, back into the shipping lanes that we know best, where all of these uh, whale uh, breeding areas have been detected. Uh, so we're going to go that way. Um, looks like we should have enough water and food to get us there, uh, but it is a long voyage. It's going to be over 100 days. I'm going to go ahead and speed things up to time three, and uh, we'll continue on our way cruising, and we'll see if we run into any obstacles or any random events that pop up. The game does like to throw those to you. You can see here one just came up. A lot of water in the hold and a small crew. Some water barrels have sat untouched for weeks. Some of them smell funny, and look, the water looks putrid. Uh, check all the water barrels and throw away the dangerous ones. So we lose two of our water barrels. You can see over here on the right, we have 11 water, which has enough for 133 days left of voyaging. We have 160 days left of food. We've got about 50 days less than that left on our voyage. Okay. One of your crew members physically bullies a shipmate, trying to get him to, the, or trying him to the main mast with a rope. The solitary man does not react, even if he is pretty pissed just killing time let them be stop being childish and free your shipmate uh, teach them how to be more sociable or get back to work you slackers that'll uh, hurt our, both of the crew members morale slightly the other one hurts uh, Kaluuya's morale by 10 it helps Ko's morale I'm gonna go with that one so it hurt one of the guys morale pretty substantially but the other guy's morale went up I think that's better than hurting everybody's uh, we found another ship and I'm not going to do anything. Our hold's full, too. We're just going to sail away from them without doing anything. Looks like we're about to sail through a storm. Um, the storm's massive swells cause your ship to roll so fiercely that your lookout falls out of the crow's nest and lands on the deck with a sickening crunch. One of his legs looks badly damaged with a broken bone sticking out through the skin. Jeez. We need to set his fractures as soon as possible. 50% chance the surgery's a success. 50% the person's aimed. Uh, the other ones bring him to the sick bay. 60% chance his wounds are healed. 40% his maimed status is healed. I don't know why this one... I guess this is a ship trait. We've got the medical uh, module on our ship, and this one is just the trait of our character. <laughs> Leg looks irreparable. Cut it off. Well, you basically guarantee he's either maimed or dead. Let him rest and tell the others to pray for him. 
50% chance he dies, 50% he's fine. Wow. I'm going to go with the sick bay that gives a 60% chance that he's healed and a 40% chance of maim. All right, the wounds are cleaned and healed. He will be fine. Good. So we rolled a, a lucky die there and moved through the storm, looking like we're hitting some kind of calm waters briefly there, but we're back on the move again. And now we're becalmed again. Um, you can see here the trade winds are going to be kind of going against us here, but once we get closer to the cape, we're going to be able to swing around easily. You can hearly, clearly hear the broadsiding sound coming from not far away. Looking at the horizon, your spyglass, you see a pirate ship battling the ship you were looking for. They have little chance of survival if you do not do something to help them. Action stations, prepare to board the ship. We'll shoot them from a distance. I'm sure they will retreat. Um... Let them get closer and try shooting the boarding... Er, to, uh, let us get closer and try to shoot the boarding pirates. We'll get some dollars, some prestige. Fair chance one successful. The other one is... Fair chance. Let's board the ship. Let's go ahead and fight this battle out. So we're going to sail up bravely and try and save these people. Alright, so we've got three crew members. Uh, we're going to go ahead and obviously use Glenn, who's our fighter. Um, we're going to go ahead and use myself. I'm a pretty good fighter. And then I think we'll go ahead and use our medic man, because uh, he can help heal us. So we'll go ahead and continue. You can see here there's different traits that you have in combat. You can see there's three boarders. They've all got pretty high health. And uh, they already one of our crew members is already bleeding somehow. Um, there's three enemy pirates, all with 25 plus uh, hit points. Glenn is wounded. You can see he's got a lot of hit options. Our character has a pretty diverse skill set. He can be a medic effectively. He can be a combat person effectively. He can do some crafting as well, uh, but we can't do that in this type of encounter. Really, all we can do is either medic or combat. We're going to go with combat for him. And our medic, there's no real point in having our medic try and heal anyone on our first roll, because at this point, no one's hurt, so we can't really heal anything. Maybe we can heal the bleeding. I'm not sure if there's a role for that. But, you know, he doesn't have much combat ability, but it's better than just wasting his roll. So we'll go ahead and roll. You can see here Glenn rolled 18. It's a shot. So we're going to go ahead and try and knock out one of the pirates early on, so we take out most of the right pirate's health. And now we've got to... Wait. Apparently, in this, when you're wailing, you can only do one attack uh, per turn. But in this case, it looks like we can do multiple, and our captain just died. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game. Maybe I shouldn't have put our captain in there. Let's go ahead and load that again. Or if we can. That was a rather short uh, battle. I got one of them, but. Um. Obviously, I'm not playing in Iron Man mode, so I can die and keep playing. Which I think is necessary, because this game is somewhat challenging. Alright, so we're already in the ocean. 73 more days. And we'll probably run across the same pirates, and maybe we'll try and fight again just without my character. Um... Welcome to the disc burning ship. Looks like you were looking for, but it's fire is rapidly destroying. So we did find the ship again, but it looks like the incident for the ship is kind of random because in this case now the ship is on fire and it's not being used by pirates. So uh, let's see. Surrounding waters for survivors gives me prestige. 50% nothing happens. The other one gives me like I can find random stuff, but there's also a chance one of our crew member dies. And let's look for survivors. They were taken by pirates, drowned, or escaped. We cannot find a single Right? Um, so we accomplished that one. We'll go back to Honolulu to get a reward. I'm not going to that right now. Later. So we made it around the Cape, and we are heading north. Heading north toward Nantucket. We're in the Argentine Sea. See here, you've got the wind direction over here, the location that you're at, the speed, um, technology news. So we've got to go back to Nantucket for one of our things. And uh, Captain's Cabin's been researched in Honolulu. So we've got two different things on opposite sides of the world uh, that are currently um, completed being researched. One of our crew members physically is a shipmate. All right, so back to this one. All right. I don't support bull. It sounds like actually he bullied the guy. The guy who was being bullied bullied the guy who bu bullied him last time around. 
Uh, there is no station in the Falklands as far as I can tell. Uh, there is one in uh, Brazil. While you're walking to your cabin, you notice one of your men surveying some papers. As you notice, you hold up some maps. Captain, during our last stop, I won these maps when I died. They show the location of hidden treasure. I think it's worth a shot. Show me the first destination. Which is... Far away. All right, let's go ahead and enter the harbor in Nantucket. We've made it around the world. Um, standard hammocks upgrade has been installed. A new issue of the newspaper is available. And we didn't get any whales that time around. With the Treaty of St. Louis, 1,400 Shawnees are relocated from Missouri to Kansas. Uh, Native Americans being forcibly moved from Missouri to Kansas. Uh, new Ecto has been designed as the capital of the Cherokee Nation. And the Barber of Seville is the first Italian opera performed in the United States, premiering in New York City. I didn't know the first opera in the United States didn't occur until 1825. Uh, various ships have reported the presence of large quantities of whale in the South Atlantic Ocean. It could be a new hunting area. All right. Accept that. And let's get a reward for the Zykron's Destiny. One more prestige and $250. We accepted a mission and completed a mission. Uh, if we go to our shipyard, you can see here we've installed Captain's Quarters. We can upgrade this. Also, several of the things that we have are upgradable, but we really need a new crew member. We really need a new crew member in order to be able to get a better ship. So I think his morale is seventeen. His morale is one. Morale is four. I hate the idea of getting rid of our medic. Is there any medics with better traits? Of both of these guys. These guys keep getting bites. Let's go ahead and get a new medic. Several valuable traits, no negative traits. This guy, meanwhile, is glutinous, but he's also the Phyllis. We're gonna go with Marion. We're gonna go ahead and hire Marion. He's gonna use 10 of our prestige. And then we're gonna go to a crafting individual. And Lumberjack, technical support. No, that's not what we need. We need Caboose. What's the fire one? That's what we need. We need Triworks and... Oh, Master Blow. God, I thought it was Caboose. Great if I could get each of those. Er, Triworks. Caboose... I think go back. Do I, need? I need fire, which is triworks. So I need triworks in order to be able to get a brigantine. You can see here this is a brig. Schooner. That's a bigger one. Um, this one I need both triworks and caboose for a brig. For a schooner, I just need stoves. Stoves, I need someone who has a skill as the caboose skill. Who will? Brigantine and Argent are in, um. Or is it a brig? I want. I mean, either way, I'm gonna need both a Triworks and a caboose trait for my character. So I'm gonna have to hire someone and I'm gonna have to fire someone. I think what we'll go with initially, anyway, is we're gonna go with Triworks. Him. Oh, I had to. I gotta refire these guys. I never actually went through with it. Alright, so Triworks, hire him. And for our medical man, go ahead and hire him. Same guy, Marion. Alright, so. Quest goal. Yep, sorry, I'm gonna lose that quest goal. Um, I'll go back to the ship and repair all the gold. And then we're gonna go ahead and one of these we can research, right? Go ahead and research this now. Okay. So we're re researching level two Triworks. I think we got level one for free. And that'll help us upgrade the ship. It's going to take 90 days. That's fine. I'm going to try and do some whaling on the side of the ocean. Let's see if we can get 200 days worth of 
water. 150 days worth of food. So that leaves us with about 34, I'm sorry, 44. In our hold, we've got about seven grand, so we've got a good amount of money. We're in a poor sloop, by the way. I'll notice that we upgraded our sloop from a star one to a star two. So it's no longer rotten, it is now poor. So slightly better, I suppose. Um, I noticed it gives us eight more barrels of cargo space in our hold. Uh, and I think what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Peterhead, because we've got one more objective that we need to clinch in Peterhead, uh, which is in Scotland. Here. Around Cape Horn, we're bound to go. Hoo -da, hoo -da. Got a singing. Around Cape Horn in the ice and snow. Hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da. Uh, well, updating you along when you're on knocks on your door. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I must ask you something of an important. My mother wrote to me that my old man's health rapidly deteriorated. I'd like to visit him before it's too late. Can consider briefly visiting my own town. Around Cape Horn is a bloody long way. Right, so to help Marion with a personal issue on what looks like around South Carolina. Oh man, the singing. The singing! Starvation nannies on the Yankee ship. And we're the police to make her. By the way, guys, can you let me know if you can hear me okay over the line? It looks a little bit loud in my recorder. If the audio's too loud, I can turn it down. Santander Dave is a mate from hell. Huh. Before the singing, it was perfect. All right, well, good to know. Um, let's go back here. Nicholas I succeeds his older brother, Alexander I of Russia. French painter Jacques-Louis David killed in a carriage accident at the age of 77. The United States Postal Service starts a dead letter office for undeliverable mail. Uh, get a reward. $150 more and one more prestige. Deliver goods in Hortia. Don't have enough room. All right, thanks, Newhauser. I made a quick adjustment, so we'll see if that makes it any better. Uh, do we want to research anything while we're here? Got a lot of things we can upgrade. Cost. Everything is level two, at least. I say we go with the cannons. It's gonna take a while. I'm going to take 120 days. So. You want me to join in when the singing starts? I suppose I could. Um, but no, I won't. Alright, so let's go to this guy's hometown. Alright, well, I've got some free resources. I have one barrel of oil. Huh. Twenty-five days left to cross the Atlantic. But go to this man's hometown before his old man perishes. Pirates. Here. Oh, down here. Um, uh, okay. So no singing this time around, that was unfortunate. Jock your ship close to the village and let him go home. Uh, I don't know what the 33% chance is, it doesn't really tell me. There's a 33% chance of something. After waiting for a man to come back for hours, you head to the mainland to see what's going on. By following a villager's instruction, you reach your crew member's house, a wooden cabin just outside the village. Your man sits on the front porch with his mother dressed in mourning. As soon as you approach, he, approach, he greets you with a bitter smile. He is gone. Gone forever. You should remain here with your mother. Grant eternal rest unto them, O Lord. Hey, BLK Hawk. Thank you for the follow. Um, that was the first time I've ever had that notification trigger also, so... Let me know, guys, if, if it came through okay. Audio still seems really...
Okay, so I would like to help your mother, give him a hundred dollars, get a generous trait, and have him be grateful. I'm sorry for your loss. We must depart. All right, I'll give your mom some money. I'm a generous captain. Um, all right, where are we going here? South Atlantic to search for some new whaling locations. I think. We have enough food for 104 days. Rock for 105. Wood for 138. Food for 131. Okay. More than enough. <laughs> do da, do da. Alright, so we're sailing to the south to see if there's a whaling location there. I've kind of uncovered this part of the map, so I'm not sure if the game allows there to be places in the map that you can sail over and not find it's a whaling area. Like, if you sail over an area when it's not whaling season there, um, do you, does it not let you find it? I'm not really sure. Um, Alright, creature encounter. Let's see what it is. It could be sharks, too. That's the other option. Self. No, they're right whales. Okay. Um, I don't. I need to look up what a right whale is. We had a golden one kill us not that long ago, um, and one of our traits just uncovered every one of the enemy's attacks. We we'll go ahead and roll. You can see here we got a strike. So we got one of them right off the bat. That means we're only going to have two hits against us. So six and a three. Again, we can see what they're going to do to us. I'm assuming that's Marion's trait, because he's the only new one amongst us. I didn't really look at all of the detailed traits that he has. But we'll go ahead and continue on with the rolling. Strike of 18. That gets the other whale, and now we just have the newborn to deal with. <laughs> Sounds so bad. Um, okay. By the way, this is our first encounter with a right whale whaling area. So we'll see how valuable these things are. But we just killed all three whales. Four rounds of combat, and we got 40 barrels of blubber. That's a lot of blubber. It'll take up probably most of our hold. We also get some food, because when you do um, get whales, uh, you can use their meat for food. So we get some food for that as well. We can't carry everything. We can't carry all the food. Uh, but we did just successfully get 42 crates, $1,000 worth whaling blubber. We just leveled up. We can assign working skill points to our comp or whatever. Um, so level up. Let's boost one to crafting, I suppose. Keep our crates as what they are. Go ahead and sail to Imbugdua. Um, assign point. I have... No. I don't have time. My, my boat's completely full. Nothing I can do for you. Go away! <laughs> okay. What a very kind captain. Enter the harbor. Okay, so our captain gets $992. Our crew gets 486 out of a total of $1,400 on the cruise. Very successful crew. What the heck is this? Green. Weird colored. Weird, I don't even know what that means. Huh. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sell some of our food as well, which we got, which gives us a little bit more money. All right, let's make sure we've got 100 days worth of water, 100 days worth of grog, a little bit more than that. We don't need so much food. There you go. We're up to $8,000. I can't. There's no apparently dockyard here to go into. We can go check out the news. Members of the Unitarian Party in Rivadera, Riviadera become the first president of Argentina. The vicious Pedro is finally brought to justice, and the Treaty of Yanobo ends the anglo burmese War after two years of battle. Um, okay. But again, there's no jobs here, so... You can see it's a one-star newspaper, a one-star general store, and a one-star tavern. Uh, no dockyards at all. So basically, it's an underdeveloped port. It's a port you can go to sell stuff in, but it's not really, um, you know, a, a sort of hub port, if you Butcher in Un Civil War and also Butcher in Nantucket. Perhaps. Let's go hunt some more right whales since they are in season. Uh, I'll teach you how to manage your whatever roommates. Go ahead and hunt some whales. Some right whales. 
Lost one water. Oh, the whale boats! Boats away! Alright, let's see what we found here. We're gonna go with my character again. We're gonna go with... I think the same mix. I think we're gonna go with the medic, and then the hunter, and then our character. Just a single right whale, although it's old. It has a 55 hit point and a 12 HP pinnacle throw. So this is gonna be a tricky one. First aid to everybody! I can't... <laughs> You're already maxed out. Um, I do like that trait that Marion has, though, where he can see what's incoming. Apparently we're stunned. Oh, our character can't do anything. But he can give first aid to himself. Tail slap is going to hurt everybody and stun everybody. Just brilliant. Ugh. Hopefully he's going to dive or something because we can't do anything this round. There he goes. He dives. So at least we're safe for now. We can't hurt him because he's below the water. I wonder if we can use a different trait and try and maneuver our uh, vessel away, perhaps. 15 first aid to our character. First. I think he comes up, though. I think we can hit him this round. Let's get our health back up. Who's he going to hit? going to hit THJ. He's going to go for me. What a jerk. get that health back and he goes for me again so literally that was a wasted round nothing happened and again except this time everybody gets hurt so 36 versus 15 god damn this old crafty whale it's gonna go ahead and dive again but everybody's stunned so they can't do anything <sighs> Nothing roll. Oh, no. Uh oh. I'm gonna dive again. I'm fine with, because I'd like to get health back. That's. can't do anything. Uh, protective mover gives immunity to one character. Because you gotta guess right, so I'm not gonna do protective, because. No real point. I need to actually hit this guy for... Alright, here we go. See who he hurts. He goes for my character. Gonna do another attack. I'm gonna try and strike him again, because again, he keeps doing this damage. He can't kill anyone this round. But I'd rather go for the strike. Now we've got the first aid, which we'll assign to Glenn. Hopefully he doesn't... Well... I'd rather, I guess, some attack point. Down to 19 health. Stun. First aid on him. Most health. We get hit again, but we're, we're gaining a little bit of health versus the attacks here. Tail Slap is going to give 12 damage to everybody. Go ahead and fasten him, because it's the only thing we can do. You can see the rope here. He's now got the bleeding trait. Everybody gets hit with this, so one more hit to any of our characters, and they're all dead. But we now have him bleeding, so essentially we have to survive three more turns, and we will... Three more turns, and we'll win the battle. So he tried to dive. You can see here he got the damage from being fastened to the boat. He's going to try and dive again. Give first aid to everybody? No. We're going to heal our character just in case, because he's the most important, because if our captain dies, we die. Or the captain. And he's going to continue trying to dive, so he's going to keep trying to get away. I don't know if that's because... Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. So he broke the line, but at the end he was he was killed. So we had nearly ran upon disaster. Almost multiple members of our crew were killed, but in the end of the at the end of the day, uh, we were able to be victorious and gain quite a bit of blubber from the whale and also some food. Nearly maxed our holdout, but with everybody hurt, I'm gonna go ahead and return to port because if we try and, and go again, our crew will be will be damaged. Not damaged, but injured. So we're going to go back to port. 
We do not have the time. I am not going into a battle with two of our crew members very badly hurt. I believe we all get perfectly healed up once we return to port. That's what we're going to do. See, the whaling season is over for these right whales here in the south. Enter into port. Get a thousand dollars. Seven hundred and thirty-six of it goes to us. Three hundred to the crew. Everybody's health is back up to full strength. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and end this video. This was uh, taken from a live stream. My first attempt at a live streaming exclusively on Twitch. I think you may have seen one or two overlays that kind of jumped up in the middle of that. I'm going to try and minimize that because I do want to kind of keep a distinctive experience between YouTube and Twitch. Uh, but I was just kind of showing this off, which I've been streaming a bit of lately on Twitch. Uh, Nantucket is a lot of fun so far. Combat, I thought. I was a little worried it was going to get repetitive, but it only gets more and more complex as I play through it. So I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. I think it scales well. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos in the series. As always, make sure you leave your thoughts uh, below, and uh, we'll pick this up in this, uh, this stream, which was taken from uh, a Twitch stream a couple of days ago. We'll pick this up in a few days. Uh, anyway, guys, until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.